residents in a specific part of East Price Hill are feeling something familiar tonight, unfortunately for them. They're feeling concerned that yet another person was shot dead in their community. Reporter Valerie Lyons talked to those working to make a positive change. It's regular at this point and I'm not happy about it. Sunday's fatal shooting of a 28 year old man in East Price Hill is the latest violent crime to rattle the neighborhood. Anthony Jameson was found dead outside this apartment complex on Elbron Avenue. The same spot a 34 year old mother was shot and killed a year ago. Oh, I remember that because actually I drove by the morning after that murder also and there was crime scene tape just left all over in a pile of uh, mattress and, and garbage. Amber Kassem is the quality of life chair for the East Price Hill Improvement Association. An advocate for public safety, she logs every reported crime in her community. Since last year, there's been more than 1,000 crimes, approximately 30 of those on the 800 block of Elberon alone. The police report to us that our stats are improving, but when you have an increase in shootings, which we've seen across, I think, across the city, um, then it doesn't lend itself to people believing that crime is improving. And these community activists aren't the only ones frustrated by this latest crime. After our interviews, we actually caught up with another man, an outreach worker, handing out these flyers. He also heard about Sunday's murder. He says he finds himself in East Price Hill all too often. All the time. We've uh, been out here off and on for the past six years now, and unfortunately every year there's a shooting somewhere. Charles Williams is with Cincinnati Works Phoenix program and hopes to end gun violence in the city. My thoughts are that we need to come together, you know, and find better ways to resolve our conflicts other than resorting to violence. But as crime continues, advocates look to law enforcement to crack down. We always work to try and get a greater police presence in the community. Hoping future response is more proactive than reactive. We need to get ahead of it. When there's chaos, when there's disorder, that's when we need to step in and meet and have someone mediate. Is that the police? I don't know. Do they have the resources? Yeah, they do, because I see them out here doing what they want to do, but they're not doing what the community's asking them to do. In East Price Hill, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.